Hello everyone and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign in a total war. My name is Ben Pope. Thank you for tuning in. Guess what? It's winter again. And we have the more meaningful seasons plus 12 turns per year going on, which makes it so it's winter's a bit tougher and longer. Uh, I installed a new mod from the workshop and it's called the uh, it's pretty much a reskin mod that a lad by the name of Agrez, like it's like A G R E Z, has put together for a bunch of the factions, so including the Burgundians. So while fighting, uh, you know, on the on the actual uh, battle map, not the campaign like this, uh, people will look a little different. They'll have a lot more Burgundy from what I saw in the screenshots. Also, the general himself, uh, the faction leader himself, looks like uh, he has a real picture and not just, uh, you see how here he's got the helmet on, so he's changed that. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about it is that his placeholder on the map looks like a scarecrow. See? Warriors so, if he's gonna move out, I believe... Yep, he just looks like that scarecrow still. So we'll put him back in. Uh, we'll see if that if that gets fixed, maybe we'll keep the mod. I'm I'm guessing the units look really cool from what I've seen in the screenshots. Uh, all around, we are waiting for this forest um, wood production facility. Let's call it to finish, so we can improve a few places. We do have a bit of money that we. I should spend, I think I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend the first bit over here because this uh, needs, this needs more public order. And then next turn I'll probably spend at Oyam. I click on the city instead to upgrade the, from the Torp to the village. I think that will help. Um, I could use the fortified town, local nobility is over there and it's a ten thousand dollar thingy or no it's not dollars but you know what i mean it's it's coins all right uh so um, let me see why don't i just wait for that money maybe we're working on the royal household and then the royal council which will unlock the chieftain and warlord keep it's something we need for sure um, the ultimate is this Warlord's Castle, which would get us some cool, unique units, especially in the capital. Let me see, go to the capital here. I'll refresh your guys' memory. Why I'm, um, why I'm aiming to get this. It's something that only be built in a faction capital and will unlock uh, recruitment of Burgundian mounted axemen. I think... Um, right, I think that's the only way, yeah, that's the only way to get those guys. Um, and of course it gives more bonuses to all units uh, in public order and everything, so. It's a cool building to have, it's kind of like, the, you know, the castle of the king of the nation. Uh, uh, pretty much everything else is in good order, so we're gonna just end the turn, and we're not gonna look at every every section of the map to see what things look like over in the small place. <laughs> I forget the words. I'm forgetting my words. What's new, right? The small colony is what I meant to say over in northern Spain. That's doing fine. Public order is doing okay there. I could also improve, uh, upgrade the town. I believe it's it's like a, a village. Right now, I'll probably go for the next one, and that'll help that place grow faster. So we'll see. As you can tell, we're just south of our location here, and there's plenty of desolate land. Um, I really don't want to expand down there, but if uh, in, if indeed I have the money later on to just kind of grab land and, and make my, you know, empire even stronger, I might. 
the idea was to conquer westward and we're doing that we're over in Vicentio in that in that area and getting part of part of Belgica right now infant mortality oh no this boy passed away before coming to of age he was one and looks like it's not really winter anymore huh let's see who died I think I have the uh, details let's not hide deceased is that hidden deceased it might have there you are Radolf you will be missed. All right. Um, I think everyone is in good order for office and governor types. These guys, as soon as they get, uh, you don't have enough. As soon as they get enough, I'll probably appoint them to something. Okay, so we are ready to spend more money. I think I'm um, uh, still winter here in Oyum. I'm going to upgrade. Ooh. Never mind. There's a um, ruined building here that we're going to take down. That's right. There's plenty of public or growth. Yeah, public growth. And we can build. Was I going to do a farm? I don't know. That's fishing yetis, right? Fishing yetis. Sanitation, gem cutter. Uh, could just use more money to get the gem cutter. I will add squalor in public order. I don't quite have enough, so I'll have to upgrade this. Uh, so maybe it will upgrade. Yeah, let's let's get a farm which will give us. Uh, this is a religious building which I've never built. A farm will give us uh, recruitment, so that's good. That will add garrison and recruitment. It's nice. So we'll do that. That's 600. It will also add more food, which we could use. And I'm going... I think I'm going to upgrade. Let me see. We have sanitation there. I think I'm going to upgrade the sanitation building. And next time I'll do the gem cutter. Uh, and this is taking six turns, so it will be done by the time this comes back. I might do that. So, 4550 is our income. Do I want to invest in more units? I'm guessing maybe, maybe over here. This is slowly growing. Okay. Oh, we'll wait. How about at Visontio and around? Slowly growing here as well, so I don't have to worry about it unless they get attacked. And Augusta Treverorum is doing okay. We'll have wood, we'll have wood next turn. Everyone around will be very um, envious, of course. And um, you know what? Population happiness an order is 100% so we could we could move out and grab another town to uh, complete Belgica maybe I wasn't really having anything in uh, in plan like 100% where is this fleet oh, they're rowing back here or uh, let's, let's go up Yeah, they could sit in port for a bit to replenish, but we'll just do a, a round, a run around to um, kind of find out what's going on in those seas. I think this place will be good once we get it built up a little bit. Uh, this force should be good enough to guard this area, and maybe I can move my faction leader out. I don't know if I want to engage in taking more land over here, but I could. I definitely could. We'll, we'll see. We'll wait and see. 
Diplom diplomatically, I don't think we could do anything. The Alamans are not very happy with us, uh, but it's improving. Would they? You have the ear of my would they join my empire? Likely not. We are worthy of better. Uh, I don't really have much to offer right now, so we're gonna skip that. Uh, they're fighting the Huns and the Western Romans, so it, I think as as soon as they actually get attacked by something, then I could jump in and um, say, "Hey, I'll I'll take over your." Goods. I'll protect them for you. Uh, let's see the Gepids. Probably don't really want to deal with them. I doubt they would want to trade. Now speak plainly. You know, I would be making some money and I would get wine. They reject. All right, so I could try that again later. Maybe offer him something. Okay, let's end the turn again. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. We have spent our money. And now we just have to see what people do. I wish I could get into a fight today so I can uh, see firsthand what my units look like now. Now that we have the reskin mod. If you want to look at the actual mod, I, I do have a link in the description of the, of the video that includes... Um, the whole mod collection that I'm using currently. So you can go in there and peek at the specific mods. It will take you to a page in the Steam Workshop and then you can click on uh, each mod there and look at them. Alright, looks like things are happening down by Sirmium. That's familiar territory. I lived there while I played Visigoths campaign. Sorry, the Ostrogoths. Ostrogoths campaign, which broke on me. I'm still sad it's broken. But I I do believe that having just one campaign at a time is fine. That gets me more chances to play other games. And um, holy cow. Moment of silence. Western Roman Empire is no more. Jeez. Death to the great. The great ones have perished. The old world is gone. Let's move on. Uh, another person has died. <sighs> Childebrand. I'm, I'm beginning to... Beginning to worry about this infant mortality because... Who is your... Who is your parents? Okay, so I'd say um, our faction leader lost a parent. No, never mind. What am I saying? Our our heir, our faction heir lost a kid, not a parent. And our faction leader didn't lose anyone, so that's fine. And then this person lost a dude last, last turn. These guys are like great. I mean, they're like this guy's 30 years old and he's just tribal chief and almost 500 influence. Who has that? This guy does. Alright. Um, yeah, okay. So let's not spend time there. Let's do something cool. And by cool, I mean, you know. I think I already forgot what I was going to do from what I mentioned last time, uh, but um, should I do a chieftain house, chieftain's house in Oyum? Oh my goodness, I could do, I could prepare that ruin building. Okay, so we put down a farm. Uh, we have a sanitation building there which might hold down enough for for this town as well could do a church building how is our me nee. might be okay without it um so i was going to improve the gem cutter let's do that and see how much oh, we have we have we don't have enough oh so close 
but we'll we'll get the gem gem trader improved before we build something else here because uh, this is a short build like I could do uh, I definitely want to do the chieftain's house just to make sure I have enough public order here so I don't have to keep too great of a force and I think we spent our money again Psontio we now have a farm built uh, here we have the wood uh, which means let's go back to our capital city we just need the royal council royal council to be able to build a chieftain's hold and then I can upgrade the sanitation in Gotiskanza. Uh will any of this give me more growth this would give me more growth yeah I kind of need that growth to go up faster since I was gonna put I've, I've been meaning to put down a church in uh, or you know religious building in Gotiskanza for like a bunch of time now way too long okay so this is this is fine if I was to recruit a unit right now I would probably get I, I don't know I mean the onager uh, I already have um, what I could do is get hmm get more onagers here and send them over to my other lands but a crossbowman maybe I think a crossbowman would be good the uh... yeah let's just do a crossbowman that will help public order for a bit do I have any anywhere else that I can uh, get I can get you know what I mean no, I actually don't know what I mean. Just checking on things. Um, here? Checking to see. Yeah, I can recruit onagers here. Okay, so I don't have to worry about bringing them from from Spain. Good. Good stuff, sir. I still don't. I still don't want to upgrade these guys since it's like two hundred coins increase but they're so much better uh, let's find out let's find out if uh, anyone else wants to trade now that I have wood maybe the gepids will trade to listen to your offers but do not wrap them in lies the Lord knows Bruh. well I'm I am sure that I'm making more trade income because of the wood see with the Saxons I'm making 700 that's pretty good anyone else that's has anyone else beat that 841 from the Franks 855 from the Geats poor Geats yep total value of 4,000 that's good that's not bad Well, it's summer now. Can't believe the Western Romans are just gone. I also don't like how the turn, end of the turn kind of takes a while. Whoa. Those are friendly. <laughs> For a second I was like, don't do it. Leave my town alone. And then I noticed that they're friendly. The Huns are thinking about taking over the world they are coming northwards with two armies might have to step in and say hello I don't like fighting the Huns at this stage they seem to have very high-end units already and since I haven't you know gone through to up update everything it's kind of like well it's gonna be heavy losses I've had heavy losses every time Fighting the Huns. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna take a drink. Somebody has gained the rank. Let's see, Mr. 
you are I guess you could use more zeal since you already have some and we shall give you uh, melee infantry units, fatigue and campaign I more ammo is just something that really really uh, makes sense to me <laughs> Belgica has got food shortage actually let's go there uh, it's gonna it's gonna maybe I need three for that you know this this is just this is just good this is just Im improving uh, Industrial building wealth and resource production for 2550. I might do it uh, Let me see what else I could be building I Thought I think this is fine. I don't need to upgrade the food uh, We recruited the Okay, so we need this this area. That's what I'm that's what I'm looking for we have two spots to build, so we will do a chieftain's house, and we will do a artisan. Might as well. We have a farm, which I mm, unsure which one I should go for. But definitely do a artisan like that. So we have twenty four hundred. You know that's not enough for <laughs> for upgrading this here now, which sucks. Um, I'm torn. I'll just wait for that. I'll just wait for that. With the money left over, I think. Let's see, can I upgrade something here? I can do this. Get more food out of it. Uh, sanitation left over two, and this is gonna use up two. I think that's fine. Wait, is this gonna use up some? Yeah. My goodness. Okay, so we're not going to build that farm. We are going to... I'm lost. There it is. We are going to build this into a village. I think that's good. Good investment. And turn. Well, I guess it's a building fest today. We just build, 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 and turn, build, build, build. I think I said build so fast that it sounded like one solid word, one solid sound. Build. That last part was an exaggeration. Exaggeration. Mr. Geats. Utes. No, that was the Geats. Why do you sit in my land? They do have... They have all the right in the world because I have them by the noose. They are a puppet state of mine. I don't like where those Huns are going. Well, that's a, that's another one because previously two armies went up this path, uh, this passage, and there was another one coming down here. So there might be three Hunnic armies down in that vicinity, and I'm not ready to repel three armies. There's one over there, and there's one over there. See, I told you. This one's going towards. Well, he's still far away from Visontio, but this one is pretty close to where I'm at. If he was to go through, through the mountain pass, he would be on my land. And we shall have no such thing. Alright. A matter of state. The stolen sword again. Swords are precious. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Swords are possessions of pride, but such precious things can also cause discontent. My brother's boy claims another has stolen his sword. The accused denies it. Well, let's go th figure it out. Folko, what happened? Uh, make a new one. Arbitrate. Um, yeah, we're gonna sit down and, s and sit them both down and see what the heck 
is going on. Even though they're kids, they should uh, not fight over swords. They should train with the swords. Okay, so I guess they wouldn't be red in my land, but they would be uh, contesting the Lugans. And I'm guessing the Lugans are unhappy about this. Let's see what they're doing. Those are the Quadians. Quadians. Hmm. Welcome, worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. Armenia is over here. So I could take over the Quadians. They have. Oh, wow. They have Roma and they have Venezia. Well, part of it, it says not, it's, it's Aquilia. This is actually Rome itself. Region Rome, province Italia. All recordings. Holy cannoli, I could just take, I, I could just, like, sure, dude. Um, give me a second, give me a second. Okay. You guys are... There's Lugans, Lugans. Hmm. Do they need help? Okay. Lugans are also, well, they're not same people, but they would expect me to help them. My friend, be welcome. The spirits of so. this place smile upon you. The Okay. Can we see what... I uh, can't see what they have. But that would give me Roma, like, instantly. And the spot over here. And it might be hard to defend. Um, tell you what, guys. I want you to help me make that decision if I should uh, have the Quadians join my empire. It looks like they have a broken down land here which it would be tough to rebuild I, I think I have uh, stats no summary summary is what I need armies I have space if they have some armies I could take them over so that would give me opportunity to defend myself there um, same with priests and spies and champions fleets I don't think you get their spies and champions or priests, but I know you get their fleets and armies. Uh, so this is the part of the reskin that they, that the man did, the mod I was talking about. The sword is missing, or the axe, whatever he had. But he looks pretty cool. Again, not perfect. Not perfect, but let's see. My main force is here. My most experienced force, I should say. And I would have to march down quite a bit to reach Sofian. Now, what I could do is, I hope, I could hope that there's, um, this is it, right? Hello? Yeah. Um, so I hope that they have an army of some kind here and at Roma. But if not, I could just recruit a bunch of people. And generals there. I might not be able to save Sofian uh, or Sopianai, however you want to say it. So please do comment down below. I beg you, let me know if I should just go ahead and acquire the Quadians as part of my nation. It would twist and turn the course of my current progression. I would have to spend money on uh, another army down there, or maybe even two. Um, yeah. It's either do that, or continue on capturing stuff in Belgica, which I will still do. Uh, I can now use the money to upgrade woodcutter. But the woodcutter is not as important as spending that money on reinforcing Roma. And um, what is this place again? 
I forget what it is. Aquileia. Right. So do let me know if you guys think I should just go ahead and acquire them since I have their mod installed. I, f I feel like I should use it uh, every once in a while. The Scarecrow King is still here. And uh, he's not going anywhere uh, except for maybe down towards... Uh, down towards Rome. I guess I could send him to Rome. Yep. So I'll wait for your comments, guys. Let me know. We're gonna look at the Scarecrow placeholder here. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do let me know. Hit the like button also if you have enjoyed it. Share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. I know there's plenty of people doing playthroughs of this. And I appreciate the handful of you that watch it. And I'll see you next time, hopefully. Have a good day. Bye-bye.